Hello everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and today's video is going to be talking about the audit log and its importance. Had an incident that happened this week that really brought home the necessity of making sure that we check the audit log frequently. So before I actually get into the demo, I would like it if you would subscribe to my channel, share it with others, and at least turn on the notification bell when I put out new videos, which I try to do at least once per week. My content is geared mostly towards accountant users, but anyone who finds value out of the content that I share is welcome to be a part of my family. Now, with that said, I am in a practice realm or in a training realm that I have access to. And so what I'm gonna do now is show you how to get to the audit log from within your QuickBooks Online Accountant or QBOA realm. So you can come over here to the large gear icon here. You're gonna click on it. And underneath the tools area, you're gonna scroll down to the audit log. Now, the default setting for this is for this month, and I will tell you that this particular realm is not used a whole lot. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to expand this out to this year. And that way you'll see a little bit more activity as to what's gone on. And the reason why I say it's really important to check your audit log frequently is for the very reason that you need to be making sure that the up-to-date information from other users is being monitored on a somewhat regular basis because I had an instance in my particular realm where one of my team members' email got hacked and I received no notification about it. And so when that individual reached out to me to let me know that that email had been hacked, I was able to go in there and see what the particular individual's hacked email was responsible for. It had tried to set up some withdrawals using the contractor 1099 feature in the payroll module. And so we were able to catch those in time and cancel those out before they actually went through. But I did not receive a notification on my end. If it hadn't have been for that particular person providing me with that information about the email being hacked, then I wouldn't have ever had that brought to my attention. But what you can do is when you're in your realm, you can see all the users that have logged in and what time. And then in tandem, what you can also do, depending on which QuickBooks Online files that they're assigned to, you can see the activity in those QuickBooks Online files. And so again, you know, you should be doing this on a regular basis. So that way, say like if I wanted to check on MB Romani, I can go back to the team. I can see which client she's responsible for. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on edit here. Not that I'm gonna edit anything in here, but I wanna see which client's book she has access to. So, I don't know which one she does. And I guess I could have looked this up for right now. She doesn't have any, but if you know that she's connected to those particular clients, then you can just go back and log into or, or do the client switcher and go into the client's file. So for instance, and that of course it put me back to this month. So I'm gonna go back here to any of these. Let's see, we'll do this We Care Community Foundation if it'll let me. Now, now that we're switching out of the realm that we were in, and so right now we can't do anything with that because it's been over a year. But if you're within a year that the account has been canceled and that kind of thing, then what you can do is you can click on the audit log and see what's been done in the audit log. Now, remember on the company's end, when they log into their audit log, they're not going to see the individual's name in your firm. They're going to actually see your firm name in there. So that's important to remember. Anyway, that's basically all I have for today in let's see i'm going to try to see if i can get back to the realm here there we go and like i said i don't okay so it, it's brought me back in here so let's see if i can actually go to the audit log now that i'm in here 
and looks like I am showing up this month. So let's go to this year and see. And nope, nobody else has been in here. But you'll be able to see the record if anybody else that's been assigned to this particular organization is a part of this, you'll be able to see all that. So it, it's good to do this on a regular basis. Maybe if you can't do it every day, maybe at least once or twice a week, just to make sure that you keep on top of things that, that may be happening that might be unusual. So anyway... I hope this helps you. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day and we will see you very soon.